Now I just add my text. Let's just title it iMovie 11. Now with the current uh, text effect I've chosen, I I cannot edit the font. It is uh, a de it's the default font set to that effect. Other effects such as the drifting effect you can change. To change the font, you can either click on Show Fonts. Um, it'll usually come uh, up with the iMovie font panel, but if you'd like to have more fonts than just these default fonts it's uh, showing, uh, you can click on System Font Panel. This will sh display all the fonts uh, on your hard drive. So I'm going to choose this. Uh, well, first off, you've actually got to highlight uh, the place where you want that font. And you can click uh, on the font you'd like. And as you can see over here, uh, the font I selected has changed. So uh, let's type in iMovie 11 slash uh, this iPhone is uh, fake. Now, as you would, as you saw then. Uh, the text that I had before this has disappeared. So to change this, we're going to uh, change the size of the font. Now, as you can see, the font, the color of the font doesn't really match with our background. It kind of uh, blends in. So let's, uh, we can put an outline over it. Uh, we can put an underline over it. We can change the alignment. But if you want to change the color of your actual text, you click on the T with the color next to it, and you can select a color from the color wheel, sliders, uh, the default colors, you can add um, a picture, or you can select it from the crayons. You may notice that when you change some of the fonts, the, the, the size gets smaller. But to do this, just edit your font. So here we have iMovie 11. This iPhone is fake. So let's remove this and make that shorter. So now that I've got um, this here, I want to cut out uh, the part where it shows yeah, the back of it. So to do that, I'm going to select the part I don't want. So say I want it to here. You can uh, highlight the area you do not want and press delete. Now, because I've got these two clips, I want something really cool um, to while I'm switching to them. So you can click on the transition button and select a transition. I'm going to choose the doorway transition and add it into my project my, my project window. So now if I play it, see that? It didn't really match along with the music. So let's go through and change the music. So let's highlight these two clips. To highlight, click on one clip, press command click on your other one and let's double click click on the audio tab and take the audio right down now we can select um, some audio from iMovie sound effects iLife sound effects or iTunes our original clip had music but what if we want that same music we can click here it's not going to sound very good but you can detach the audio now we can extend the audio to what it was supposed to be. Oh, it's not really playing right now. Oh, well, well, we've got our audio. Let's set a map. iMovie comes with default uh, maps, which they look, they do look real good. So let's select the blue marble map. I'm not too sure. But it's believed that the iPhone 5 was has been released in 
uh, Japan as uh, Japan's service providers are more advanced than what ours are so they skipped the iPhone 4 and got the iPhone 5 now I don't know what it looks like to them and I do hope to someday find out I'm not sure so please don't quote me on that but please leave a comment if you know a link to the video the showing the iPhone 5 or uh, PM me or something uh, I'd really uh, find it helpful so let's uh, select our starting location I'm going to uh, select my starting location at I don't know let's select some random place um, let's go Buffalo that's our starting location and our end location I'm going to set to uh, Palma. I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it, but that's good enough for now. It also displays um, the route distance, which is 6,760 kilometers. And I'm going to click Done. Okay, so now I've got this, but what I... Ooh, see that? Beautiful straight line. So what... Um, I want to add another transition in here. So let's have the most, uh, the circle close transition. Now let's see how it runs. Yep, that works quite well. I'm happy with that. Um, so now say we, while we've got this going, we want to add a voice over. So you click on the mic icon and click on the area that you want to add the voiceover on. Uh, so now I've added a voiceover. Now I've just pressed spacebar, it's a quick way to end it, but I recommend cutting out if the button, um, if the microphone catches the button sound, I recommend you take that out. You can change where to record from. Say you have an ex a built-in microphone like I'm using now, an external microphone. Uh, you can choose where to record it from. The input volume. Um, uh, this is the levels that uh, your voice is um, being recorded. Or say you've got music playing, which I don't recommend you do that. It doesn't sound uh, doesn't sound too good. You can choose an enhancement to make it sound better, and you can play the project while recording which is basically, I know, we're kind of already doing that. So, now that we've got our voice recorder, we can go in, select audio, and it's already done it for us, but we've reduced uh, the, the music, even though it wasn't playing, which I'm not sure why that was. That's pretty much it. Uh, please uh, comment, rate, and subscribe to... Uh, BS and BB Tutorials. This is uh, Brody Smith from BS and BB Tutorials uh, signing out.